Verifying your domain in HubSpot is critical to be able to set up landing pages and also send emails. So in this video, I want to show you how to generate the DNS records that you will then copy and send to your developer, your website host, your marketing company, whoever manages your website's DNS, or if you manage it on your own, these are the steps that you need to take prior to getting those DNS records entered into your registrar so that you can authenticate and verify your domain with HubSpot. So let's dive in. All right, so when you uh, have your HubSpot account set up, you're going to want to connect your HubSpot or your uh, domain, your website domain to your HubSpot account. So the way that you do that is first of all, just go, I'm showing this as an example right now, um, but you would go grab your domain and then you would click connect a domain. And this is going to be a primary and you might have a unique one that's for sending emails only, but this is if you want to connect everything, including email as well. So I'm going to do primary. I enter in and I only need to put in the, the root domain. You don't need the HTTPS and then click next. And now here you want to, um, it's just saying, tell us where you host the content. If there's any like sub pages that you would need for landing pages, anything like that. I generally like go or another common one is try. And this would be the, when you make landing pages inside of HubSpot, or if you're sending marketing emails and they want to view that email online, uh, what do you want the, the subdomain to be? So I'm going to go with go for the subdomain. And now this is saying if we've made any website pages, a blog, landing page, our marketing email, that's going to be the, the subdomain that that HubSpot content that you're making is going to live on. So I click next and then it's going to ask for verification. So it says you need to update your DNS records. So you're going to copy this field right here and you want to email. So I pulled up an email here that I'm sending to the, the requested or to the marketing person. Um, and so what I recommend doing is taking a screenshot of this entire thing, and then you can go click here. And in this case, it actually tells you that it's confirming that your DNS records are at Cloudflare in this particular case. If you, it can detect who your DNS provider is, but for this marketing company, this is giving the, the instructions on how to connect to Cloudflare. So I actually like saying, copying this, whatever their suggested is just suggested uh, connection steps are include this here and then say, here is the support article for reference. And again, if you're doing this and you're not at Cloudflare, it might not have Cloudflare um, there. But then the other piece is you do want to grab the required data. So they're going to create a new CNAME record with Go as the host. And then you're going to copy this required data. And then again, say you need to create a new CNAME record with Go as the host. And the data would be that. So that's the first step. We're going to go ahead and put that. And I'm going to click back to here and click verify. And you can see over in the corner, because I haven't done this or set this up yet, I can click finish later. And so now I have my primary domain set up. And then the next thing I want to do is connect an email sending domain. So down here, I'm going to connect an email sending domain. And it says, what is the email address that you're using to send uh, marketing emails? And so you would enter that in here. And in this case, I don't know what the actual email is, but I'm guessing it's something like hello. Uh, you can uh, change this later if necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and click next again. And now it has all the DNS records that you need for the DKIM, SPF, and DMARC. So here you're going to, once again, say it's saying that your Cloudflare is the setup here. And so each one of these we need to include and tell them to set up as well. So we're going to say for email sending, we have first one, we're going to say CNAME. So the record type is CNAME, host, current data, and the required data. So we're going to actually, I'm going to write it like this. 
So what I've now done is I've taken all of the different records that are needed here. Um, and you will notice that there are step-by-step uh, -step guides on DMARC if they need that. So I always like including this as well. So for DMARC, uh, we'll say resources, copy that, paste it back in. And that should give them everything that they need. So once again, in the corner here, I can click finish later. And now I wait for the uh, marketing company to update those records. And then I can go in and click continue domain setup and then uh, verify that it all worked. Now, keep in mind, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is just creating all of the DNS records. In order to finish the verification, you're going to need to have the marketing company go ahead and enter in all the DNS records that I showed you how to generate into the DNS manager. And once that's done, then you can go back and click continue setup inside of HubSpot, verify, it usually takes you know a few minutes to do that, and then everything should be good to go. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. We love helping people here at Boolean. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.